Hello and welcome to Amphibi Crochet! And are you ready for another cool crochet pattern roundup? I hope so. Today we're going to talk about pillows. And as you can tell, there's a lot of different <laughs> shapes and sizes to pillows. Let's get started! We're starting with this gorgeous um, light green uh, tree pillow. I think, I, yeah, here it is in its full glory and in the different colors as well sort of tree of life cable situation going on there very cute and decorative and look how gorgeous that is very classy pillow this one now there's a whole alphabet here with uh, um, like uh, letters for names and stuff like that and uh, it's in this font i have a couple of here's the n and the s and the n and so there's a whole script font of uh, pillows available uh, here and you can just choose your letter completely different perfect for a nursery or some uh, some other child um, room child ch children's room <laughs> uh, a sunny pillow with uh, a, a, a bright blue hello on the back adorable and very yay <laughs> cute and look how cute this decor is with the, also with the light bulbs it's such a cool idea dahlia pillow so this is sort of a, um, a crocheted with two strands in different colors gorgeous effect and uh, very classy i love this color it is very very on uh, very very en vogue in style and if you crochet it like this you can uh, you can switch out your pillows fairly frequently depending on your mood and the season and it looks absolutely gorgeous as a home decor and even the back is cool <laughs> i love this london bus um, double decker bus pillow it's very cute i think the other side is the bus as well it does but you can sort of write what you want there if you want to write anything and if you're very adventurous you can create little people for behind the windows very cute decorative cool for like a kid's room or someone who's a london fan i like this sort of boho type of uh, very modern feel now not not really boho it's more for an anthropology oh, type feel and i have more photos of this later on so hang in there a very chunky chunky crocheted uh pillow they're always good gray in this in this case you can fit uh, any decor um i really love the chunky yarn that they used it, it, it gives a very cool 3d effect uh with the stitching now if you don't have a buffalo plaid bear pillow in your home this is your chance to make one <laughs> It's very nice. I love the sparkly yarn that they used uh, for the for the pillow. It's very cute, and uh, it fits like a log cabin feel. It it it's just sort of outdoorsy type of situation. It's very cool and cute. Completely different kind of pillow is this round pom pom pillow with cool um, uh, cable work, uh, different colors, and of course a lot of pom poms around. Here it is in different colors. And uh, with the dark colors, you can even see the intricate work a little bit better. And you can choose not to, to add the pom-poms, but they are quite uh, cute. Here it is without the pom-poms and without the filling. And with different colors again. Here they are, the chevron pillows. Um, I love this look. It it's, gives a little bit of coziness to a, a very modern interior. If, it's a great stash buster. <laughs> If you uh, have uh, a lot of different colors and you can make it match your decor. And I love that the chevron doesn't uh, continue, but it has different colors on each side. And here it is in a different sort of form with, um, yeah, with sleeker, smaller, thinner chevron stripes. And here it is with a very wide chevron stripe. So there's a lot of possibilities there. I love this waffle stitch one again a very chunky um, uh, sort of yarn and it can be very fluffy and uh, very comfortable and it looks absolutely smashing on the couch or anywhere um, and this is the same waffle stitch pillow but with stripes so different colors and that looks cool as well <laughs> so different possibilities there for the same pattern 
Now here's a very straightforward pattern with a, a bubble stitch every now and then and it gives a very fun um, effect and this time it's put in a sort of triangle shape if you make the pom-pom to different colors um, different colors to the background you get this effect and here it is in gray and in blue and in pink so very nice and here it is in white upside down <laughs> Or the right way up, no matter, uh, depending on how you look at it. Completely different kind of pillow is this sweet elephant pillow. It's massive, cool lace ears and a cute bow. And uh, of course, without the bow, it's cute as well. F perfect for elephant lovers and uh, other uh, youthful people. <laughs> Here it is in purple. Family! These these written script uh, photo, um, what's it called, uh, pillows are very in style at the moment. And you can create your own with a nice scripty, um, scripty font. In this case, it says family. Well, doesn't get any more cozy than this, does it? Very nice. Another pom-pom stitch uh, used here, and this time it's used in a sort of chevron uh, type of situation. I love when they combine two different kinds of pillows together. This is very, very nice. Um, it, white will fit any decor, and uh, of course you can crochet it in any color you want. This is just a couple of styling options. And if you have an old <laughs> wooden rocking chair, it would look great on that as well. Oh, this is so nice. I love these um, uh, pillows that have uh, little drawings on them, uh, crocheted into the pattern. This is sort of a camping scene with a little caravan there, a little trailer in the forest and uh, happy bunting there. Love the color scheme with the pastel colors against the na natural colors in the back. It is adorable and uh, very decorative, as you can tell, even in this sort of modern, sleek uh, situation here. There's some more crochet stuff there. Very curious about that. This is a nice pillow as well, but we're talking about that one. That one is very cute and adorable. Now, here's sort of a Celtic knot or Celtic knot. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's beautiful. Basically, I think you make one big... <laughs> One big tube, <laughs> and then you knot it together. And there's several options here, bigger ones, smaller ones, square, square ones, rectangular ones. And here is the uh, the smaller version of, uh, it sort of shows you how to knot the different, uh, the different uh, strings, I suppose, the different, well, in this case, the different tubes. Very nice, incredibly decorative, very, very in style at the moment. And uh, so choose your favorite, very bright colors this, but you can choose your own favorite color and uh, get knotting, I suppose. <laughs> now this is a bit more elaborate, a little bit of, of tassel action and and, and a popcorn stitch, stitch there. And a sort of a very, this has a bit of a boho feel to it. It uh, would, <laughs> yes. Um, it would look great in a uh, sort of uh, boho type of situation. Um, another bubble stitch uh, crochet pattern. This time they're grouped in little triangles. Gives a, and using different yarn, colored yarn for that gives a great effect. Look how cool that is. And here it is in a different color scheme, sort of the other way around, dark in the back and uh, lighter in front. And that's also very, very cute and cozy and sweet. Now, there had to be a flower included and here it is. It's a round daisy pillow. Um, this uh, particular crochet designer, Pippa Patterns Crochet, specializes in um, flower crochet patterns. And this time it's a massive, massive daisy um, a crochet pillow. Uh, so be prepared to create a lot of those leaves, um, but uh, it's very cute and very decorative once it's once it's done. Actually, if you look at the back, these um, um, these flower arrangements are also crocheted, and they're also her uh, crochet patterns. So that's very cool. Now, here's a cute one, little heart um, in different colors. Do I have a better shot of this? Oh, here it is in uh, in the, the traditional <laughs> red. Um, very, f if you use nice and fluffy yarn, it's very nice and comfy, comfy cozy, adorable. Uh, this thing is crocheted, looks like crocheted Afghan in the back there. That's all good, good stuff, good stuff. Here's another Pippa pattern uh, uh, flower crochet uh, um, uh, pillow. And this time it's a rose. 
And that is adorable as well, gorgeous. A great, great housewarming gift as well for someone who is, who loves nature and, uh, and pillows, I suppose. <laughs> but don't give your best stuff away. Make sure you keep some for yourself. Another flower one, the daffodil. I, love, I really like this one. I like daffodils. They're 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 weird, weird flowers with the little trumpet uh, thingies going on, and uh, I like this one. Uh, and not just because you only have to make six petals, <laughs> big ones, but only six. <laughs> in contrast to this daisy one, where you have to make a, a little bit more uh, effort in the petal department. Another bubble stitch pillow um, arranged here in little diamonds. So the bubble stitch is very, very versatile and creates a great textured pillow. So uh, you can even design your own if you're that in the client, and if you're not, just uh, borrow some good ideas from the designers. Look how cool that is. I really like that. Another heart. I love that this is not a solid heart, but sort of a, uh, like a doodle. And it's, uh, uh, I like it. It's really nice. Very funky, very young. And um, yeah, completely different to this one. <laughs> sort of a flower, sort of simple flower, which is basically a chunky uh, crocheted middle and all massive pom-pom <laughs> uh, circle around it. And here it is um, being created. Of course, you can make the pom-poms different colors and make it as funky as you want it. But this is very, very cute, <laughs> like a, a little sunflower. <laughs> Look how sweet that is. Now, uh, if you want to uh, use up some uh, yarn, this is your chance to do it. This great stash buster um, type of situation. It's actually crocheted uh, or onto, it's a sort of crochet and fabric combination, but you can crochet the whole pillow like this, I suppose. Um, this is not for the faint of heart and it should fit your decor or you can make it fit your decor if you choose the right colors, obviously. Rundkissen Sunrise. It's uh, a round pillow. Yes, we uh, we saw that already. Um, so it has includes the crochet and the sewing instructions, so that's nice. And you can create, if you have like a funky little um, fabric uh, lying around, as you can see, like big polka dots and the sweet little strawberries. It's, F, it's very cute. And uh, if you want to shoosh that up, you can crochet that front on there. It's adorable. Now, this is a bit more subdued, <laughs> sort of a basket weave um, uh, pillow. And that's it for these wonderful pillows. I hope you found a favorite and get to crocheting for your own home decor or as a present for some very lucky recipient. I, of course, wish you happy crocheting.